If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And if you need any coins for Ultimate Team to get a head start on the game, head to the link in the description. Use the code TVM for a discount at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Road to Glory. I have done a little grind overnight, 15 games of squad battles in one session. I would say it was boring, but to be honest, it wasn't that bad. There is a little glitch. I'm not sure if the video for that has gone live already or whether it'll go live after. But essentially, if you score a goal or score however many goals you want, basically, whatever the result is, if you've decided, you know what, I've had enough, there is a way to pass it to a particular player and stand still, put your controller down and go play Call of Duty, go watch Netflix, go leave the room. You know, you could go for a nap. Uh, you'd have to come back and restart the second half or end the game and start a new game, but you get the idea. Last year, it was the whole fake shot thing inside the penalty area. This year, it's even easier again, which is awesome. Like I said, I will show you a video of that. Um, just a two-minute thing or whatever it may be. Maybe it's gone live already. Maybe it'll go live after this. Either way, it, it, it's searchable on... Um, if you just type in Squad Battles Glitch, just for the, the peeps on the road to glory, if you just want to go check that out, you can do. Um, foot Champs, Division Rivals, and I have a 50k pack to claim, as well as an Icon pack from Icon Swaps. So, we have a lot to do, uh, pack-wise. Now, Foot Champs, I only, I only did six wins. I, I didn't have time this weekend to play more. So I thought, well, I might as well get something. So we have, I think we have a player pick, but it's limited to 84, which is fine because there's only like three players above 84 anyway or something stupid. The team of the week is dreadful. So I've picked the best week possible to have a quote unquote break. Um, we've entered into weekend league again, so we are ready to go once more. So expect your standard 14 wins. Um, the, the whole you know, world pandemic situation is, is getting worse in Wales in particular. So we have introduced new measures and are going to introduce new measures, which might limit my time in certain areas, but I'm going to make sure that I finish. Um, oh, I need to do something with these as well. And I really don't know what to do with them. It's, I feel like it's a waste to, to discard them. They're both untradeable duplicates, but oh, is it? I, I, I'll, I'll put them into... Um, let, let me go do that now, actually. Let me let me quickly just go put them into an upgrade. Right, so there we go. 80 plus player pick done. I have used both Mallow and Neto. Bit of a waste to throw them into just a standard 80 plus pick, which we'll do straight away, by the way. And we get ourselves back Gabriel Paulista. Fantastic. That's what I always wanted, really. In this, um, Ginter... For, for the memes, I loved Ginter a couple of years ago. His inform, I think I got him as a red pick. Used him for quite a long time. I think he was 84 rated as well. That would be nice. There is one other 84 that I think I wouldn't mind picking up. But either way, regardless of what we get here, it, chances are it'll go into some sort of foot champs upgrade next week or something. Uh, here we go. <laughs> it's mad. It's the one I, I genuinely... I. I don't know why. For the memes, I genuinely wanted Ginter. Silver 3 is the new gold 3. You need to finish Silver 3 if you want the card you want, providing the card you want isn't above 84 rated. Uh, that is that is cool beans. I'm happy with that. Like, I'm never going to use him, but of, of all the ones I could have had there, I genuinely would have picked him. Uh, can I have a look at the team of the week? Just just out of curiosity, what other 84 was there? I knew there's one other 84 that I'm thinking I might have been like, you know what? Yeah, he would have been all right. So Kunde would have been pointless. That was it. Jonathan Bamba. Jonathan Bamba would have been the best of the 84s. Olmo would have been typical because we had a red Olmo before. We get the Ginter, which is awesome. We could have had Tavernier. See, all the, mainly all of the good cards, apart from Vardy and Lozano, you could argue Henrik Mkhitaryan as well. I'm not even going to argue Tony Kroos because no one's going to use him. He's literally there for rating. The rest of the cards are maxed out at 84 anyway. So yeah, you can't get Mkhitaryan, Vardy and, and Lozano, which are definitely three of the best. But you could have still got Jonathan Bamba. Could have got Ginter. Could have got Olmo. Could have got Tavernier. Could have got uh, Consigli. And Kunde if he didn't do the objective for some strange reason. Um, Soleil wouldn't have been a terrible one either. So um, Anthony wouldn't have been terrible. 
thinking about it. I mean, he's not a bad card to throw into the um, the Ajax. I say the Ajax squad. It is the Dutch league team, but it's basically all Ajax players. So let's before I have a look at division rivals. I took a gamble yesterday, and we're about to find out if it paid off. Um, we'll we'll talk more about that in a second. I have completed. 50 squad battles matches. I don't play squad battles that often, so the only time I ever play it is for objectives, and we've managed to complete the 50th, 50th win on minimum professional difficulty. Of course, we had to do all of icon swaps on world class, so I did 15 of those games. Job done. 50k pack. That makes up for the 50k pack that we don't get from foot champs, and this, my friends, is going to make up for the player picks and the other sort of rewards that we didn't get from foot champs as well it is of course the final icon swaps token to complete the icon we have done icon swaps for this session which means we now only have to wait 15 days uh, to get another 10 tokens what are we going to do with those 10 tokens i mean realistically there's only there's only a few things we can do with them uh where are we icon no we're gonna go to swaps so the icon pack itself is eight tokens, right? In the next session, we could take the base or mid icon pack. So in 14, 15 days, whenever I said it was, I think it's the 1st of January, right? They get, they'll refresh it and there'll be 10 tokens available. We could grind all 10 and get a, bid, a base or mid icon pack, roll the dice and see what happens. We could take Haji. We're not going to take Haji. Or we do what nearly everyone else is doing, and we take the 8325 pack, which is five tokens. We take the 855 pack, which is three tokens, and then we just take the ultimate packs at the end because we've only got two tokens left. So we'll have three or four, rather, fairly big boy packs. Why do that when you could just go and get an icon? Well, Team of the Year is coming out probably the 9th, 10th, 8th of January between those three days. Which means we'll have a very good chance of packing a team of the year. And I think that's probably for the best. Even if we don't pack a team of the year. We will fill the club with fodder. So that we can complete an icon SBC. That I'm guessing EA may drop within the next six months. Fingers crossed we might get an Akata. So for right now anyway. We've got eight tokens. We might as well take the base icon pack right. I mean we don't really need anyone. I am not going to turn down another player. Can I have, actually search for these swap tokens here? Oh, sexy. So, one, hang on, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eh, who said I couldn't count? Who's laughing now? So, there we go. Eight tokens, base icon pack. I will submit it. Thank you very much, EA Sports, for your custom. Of course, this would have been a lot harder to do or a lot longer had people not uh, had people not sort of landed on this whole one goal leave strategy that people seem to have. I mean, I don't. Where do I stand on it? I know a lot of people are going to ask. I mean, it is what it is, right? If you want to go a goal down in a game and leave, I've got no problem with that. Uh, if you want to stay to the end of the game, I've got no problem with that at all. I am more than happy to sit here and play. 90 minutes in a game not real 90 minutes obviously but i'm more than happy to play a full 90 minutes even if i'm winning five nil if you want to stay till the end of the game because you're enjoying or you're learning or you're just playing the game because that's what it's there to do that's fine if you want to leave at one nil down because you think this guy's too good i'm just oh it's not worth my time because now i've got to score two fine you can leave am i gonna do it depends i was only leaving if i'd played that guy before and it happens on pc a lot more often than you'd think so going into a game face up against this guy i score first he leaves next game if i match the same guy i'd score an own goal and i'd leave because i felt like you know what you've done me a service by leaving at one nil you've saved me a lot of time let me just give you a quick win i'll leave i'll leave it five minutes let him search and find someone else and then i'll go into another game and find someone someone else i did play against a guy who um what did, what did he do? He beat me in 90. Um, we played a full 90 minutes. I scored first. He didn't leave. Fair enough. No problem at all, right? He then came back one all. Went 2-1. He then scored two goals in 10 minutes or whatever it was. And he beat me 3-2. Do I have any complaints? Absolutely not. Good player. 
Got lucky with one of the goals, but I think I did as well. So it is what it is. It's a game of FIFA, fine. Next game, we go in. Uh, I score to make it 1-0. He scores, makes it 1-0, pauses it and leaves. What a douchebag. So there are certain people who ruin it for everyone. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, division rivals. This is where I took a risk. It was 60 points clear with three hours left. Is it going to be enough to secure rank one? That, my friends, is the question. If I don't secure rank one, I will actually be a little bit upset. Could I have played another game? Probably not, because it was really late because of um, icon swaps. Did I get rank one? No, I did not. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I would be very curious to know what it finished on. I'm guessing 1220, 1230. I finished on 1260. Uh, nervous then because i saw four mega packs and four mega packs is what you get for um rank two anyway we did finish rank one which is nice so we can confirm we're going to take untradeables we're just going to restock the club boom very happy about that where did that finish let's go and have a little look oh it finished on twelve thousand. so it did it did not budge in four hours i know there was three hours left but even at four hours left it was still twelve thousand points it has come down every single week by at least 100 points so theoretically and it is a running theory you can't take it as gospel this week i'm in i'm in a different division so it's irrelevant but this week i would imagine rank one would be under twelve thousand points which is crazy win one game play your, play your um foot champs games and you've done it. Um, that's PC, though. A little bit different if you're on console, I'm sure. So what do we have all together? Because we've got different rewards to normal. Because, of course, we've we've finished a lot lower in uh, foot champs. Base icon pack, rare mega, rare mega. One, two, three, four mega packs. A 50k pack. Two 25ks. Another 25k. And then two 15k packs. Do you know what? Because of that extra 50k pack that we got for the squad battles... And for the icon pack especially, we are going to have just as good a reward this week as we normally get. In fact, it's going to be extra special because of that icon. So I'm happy. And this is tradable. Of course it is because it's come from uh, Foot Champs. Stock the club up with some tradable cards. Um, my club is is completely barren right now it is so empty I need to stock up those coins as well 1.4 mil it's decent it's nothing wrong with it and road to glory purposes we wouldn't use it anyway because our tradable player in the in the club is allison we can't buy anyone even if we want to but there is uh or there are rumors i should say of a spanish of course because he's he is spanish tiago freeze left back in three through two three days uh if if those rumors are true Regardless of whether he fits the team or not, I need him in my life. So I'm going to need some high-rated cards here. Maybe some coins to use. So far, so bad, by the way. These have been... Um, I mean, we've opened three, but not one board. That is a lot of players. It is a player's pack. You would expect nothing less. And that's one of the last tradable packs, actually. Two rare golds now. Let's open these because they are... I mean, they've been good to me, kind of, this year. I've had two good ones. I think I packed an inform Suarez. This is an inform. German, I dare you. Centre back, I dare you. It's a striker. It is going to be from 1860 Munich, I believe. Uh, Molders. Absolutely no idea. But looks nothing like him. If you know, you know. We get a bunch of stuff I don't care about. But it's an inform. Can't can't be mad with an inform. Can't be. Regardless of whether it's untradeable and is 75 rated, he'll come in handy for something, I'm sure. Another 25k pack. And another board. Not an inform this time. Give me something I can use. Uh, right mid. It's going to be... Um, what's his name? Begins with a C. Callahan. That's him. I keep wanting to call him um, Castileo for some reason. I think he's he's a different Spanish right mid, isn't he? Uh, he's not 84 rated though. But still, Callahan is good for stuff and things. Turkey badge. Get rid of that. This icon up and coming, by the way. Um, I genuinely don't know what I want from that. I really, I couldn't tell you. I could not tell you. If I could hand pick one, I don't know anymore because I, I've tried that Eto. Uh, granted, I've only tried him in squad battles. He is fast. 
he's one of the fastest players I've used. Uh, and that is going to be so much fun. Four star skills. He doesn't miss the target. He's very, very fast. He's strong. It's just a good card. And I'm, I'm really excited to use it this weekend. If we go and pack Dalgleish, Eusebio or whatever, I don't know what to do. Uh, I mean, we're going to have just like, I wouldn't say no, let's be honest, but... Uh, I, I feel like we do a stinker with regards to the icons. We've had two really good ones, two cards well above a million coins. We are definitely do a stinker with regards to the icon. So, I, I, I'm obviously, I won't be happy about it, but if I do pack a Baracy, a Moore, a Lineker, Michael Owen, or anyone like that, you know, okay, Michael Owen aside, because he is actually like a Liverpool icon type thing. Uh, so, you know, I can make an exception for him, but I... I, I I won't be happy about it, but I, I'm accepting, you know. My pack look this year has been absolutely ridiculous. Just because we've been given a base icon pack doesn't mean I deserve something good. So I'm happy to take um, a, a bad card then, if you will, from this icon pack. I'm not, ha I'm not happy, but I'm, I'm accepting of it, you know. I, I'm prepared. Uh, we got ourselves another Semedo. This time, though, this one's untradeable. The other one is tradable. We can sell the one with the record on. He doesn't sell for anywhere near as much as he d used to. But still, it's good that he's not an untradeable duplicate because that would hurt a little bit to discard. But there we go. We can sell him for what is what? 3, 4k? Yeah, nothing nothing crazy. Could have sold him ages ago for, for decent money. But... Um, yeah, we kept him. We used him. We had our we had our use out of him. He really helped me out a lot in the early stages, of course, because he's one of the best left, but sorry, right backs in the game. Next, no walkout again, but again, like I said, you got to take some some bad times. You know, we've had some ridiculous luck. Just the, all these players, it's just so good to open these car uh, these packs and get these players. Desperately need them. We got a gold pack there. Another Gabriel Paulista. We know he's an untradeable dupe because we picked him earlier. Had I picked Harry Maguire himself. We would have been fine then, but uh, there we go. Such is life, and we have to get rid of Quebec. I I didn't mean to delete the Manchester United Stadium theme, but I'm going to just treat it as if my brain wants me to do that. So open the gold pack and pack a, an icon. Huh? 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 No. I, I, that's what I want now for the rest of this game. That's all I want, actually, is to pack... <laughs> it's going to sound stupid. To pack an icon from open play, you know? I want to pack an icon from just a pack that doesn't guarantee an icon you know packing up packing an icon is one of if not the best feeling in fifa um opening a base icon pack you know you're getting an icon it's impossible not to get an icon and well you you'd you'd imagine it's impossible to, to not get an icon but opening a 55k pack seeing walkout and then seeing white flare and then bang it's an icon that is what i want this year that's the only thing left the only thing I want. Uh, 55k pack, not of dreams. More of nightmares than anything else. We get Kepa, uh, we get Milik, we get Alonso, and we get Cristante. I don't think maybe one of them. One of them is tradable. Oh, dear. Well, we are wasting here. We are wasting. I didn't think I had that much left in the club, to be fair, but apparently I do. Last rare mega. It's been very disappointing uh, with regards to the packs today, but... Oh, we got a hero card. It's going to be that 80 something or other, isn't it? Yeah, the um, Columbus Crew fella. <sighs> Zella Ryan. It's it's typical because A, I already have him. Uh, or I, I have a version of Zella Ryan. Wait, do I? Zella Ryan. No, maybe I don't actually. I'm thinking of someone else. I'm thinking of someone else. Oh, we get. Oh, 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 oh. What a pack that is. Carl Walker untradeable. Cheeky little 80k. Can't sell him because, you know, I just said, he's untradeable. But we could use him in something. Um, whether it be an SBC or whether he actually goes into, like, a first owner Premier League thing. I don't know. But either way, it's very nice to have him there. Parejo is good fodder. I'm pretty sure... Now, nah, maybe... Man, I must be thinking of someone else. I put him in Team of the Week predictions. Maybe I'm thinking of him for that reason. I, I've got an inform from the MLS that... Has a similar name to Zella Ryan. We get Maratta. Of course, he's untradeable. I think I bought Yedlin. Yeah, I did. Uh, and then we can get rid of these because we don't need them. But um, Carl Walker is a bit of a sexy one. Not going to not gonna turn my nose up at that. Let's do the 50k pack. This comes from Squad Battles. 
Uh, win, what, what was it, 50 or whatever. Uh, no walkout again, no board this time. It is another Libertadores card. Is it going to mask something? It is indeed. I don't mind that. You know, I would have preferred to see Pjanic come out um, rather than bore. But, um, you know, another 85, Jan Vertonghen. Another Gignac. I honestly, see that guy. That guy. I see him in my dreams. Not in my nightmares, because he is actually my best friend. If you didn't know, you probably do by now. But he follows me on Twitter. He followed me first. I didn't follow him. But, um, yeah. Uh, I pack him, like, in every upgrade. So th it's come down to this. Like I said, if I pack an insane attacker that's better than Eto or of the same quality, I'm in trouble because... Who do I take out of the team? Exactly. However, it's a nice headache to have. I am more than willing here to take one for the team and to receive a bit of a stinker. We've had ridiculous pack luck with icons and in general this year. I'm prepared for Italian centre mid Andrea Perlo. I'm prepared for England. I'm prepared for Romania. I am prepared for Ivory Coast. A lot of people might be thinking, Ivory Coast, Drogba's good. Not for me. Wouldn't use him. Brazil? Spain? Okay, striker? Centre mid? It's going to be um, Xavi. It's, Xavi's not actually that bad, is he? Oh, 88 Xavi. Is that good? I've got no idea. I'm not going to look at his value and then go, oh my god, that's insane. But that's what people do, isn't it? So let's let's, um, let's pretend we're one of those people for a, for a minute. Oh, is this good? I don't know. Is, uh, is he? Oh, Xavi. Oh, I don't know. Oh, is he? Is this good? Oh, he's about the same price as the pack. Oh, it's... Oh, it's, it's crap. I don't mind it. I mean, it could have been a lot worse, right? I don't mind it at all. I, I, I don't mind. Like, if I'd, if I'd got an icon that was 200k, 300k, but I like that player, I'm happy. Xavi has four-star skills, which is good. High defensive work rate, I like. Three-star weak foot is a shame. I'm pretty sure that's a lie as well, because Xavi... I'm not, I'm not saying Xavi was two-footed, but... To, to make him three-star weak foot, maybe a bit harsh. Uh, his dribbling across the board is fantastic. His passing is ridiculous. He's not the slowest player in the world. I wish his stamina was higher, but apart from that, I don't mind it at all. I'm going to put him and Beckham into a team together. <laughs> Why not? I, I won't use him, but, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It, it's not like I did the Icon SBC using coins and players and got Xavi. I, I've, I've spent time grinding the tokens, sure. But it didn't cost me anything. That's that's the main takeaway there. You know, the one that we paid for, essentially, we got Samuel Eto. The one that I got for free uh, was not the best, but at least it was for free, essentially, right? So, Eto needs contract. There you go, my friend. Have your contract. Uh, David Beckham on the bench. Am I going to bring him on in Weekend League? Yes. Yes, I am. Newest. Uh, let's get Xavi in there. Am I going to bring Xavi on? I mean, to be fair, I could bring him on. I could put him on the bench instead of a Tal and bring him on as like a... Instead of Blanc, almost. I probably won't, but I could. It's not something I would be completely opposed to. And if I ever need a player for chemistry or whatever, uh, with regards to striker, uh, striker Spain, when I saw that Spanish flag, I was hoping for a striker uh, and, and Fernando Torres or Butragueno. One of those two wouldn't have been terrible. Hero wouldn't have been awful. And I know people rip on Puyol a lot, but I do quite like Puyol. Um, Spain, to be fair, Spain is not the worst nation I could have seen there. Normally, when you get a walkout, Puyol is, is like 200 and something thousand coins, which people will be like, why would you even want Puyol? He's so bad. But in terms of like just putting a shadow on him and using him as a straight up centre back, I actually would have considered that, you know. He, he's got 85 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. He's nearly 99 for everything in defending. And he's got 91 stamina with 89 strength. He's a 91 rated centre back. I know he's a right back, but... If I were to put him, if I had got Puyol, I think I probably would have used him ahead of one of these. Just just to see what he was like. Um, whether he would have remained there permanently, I don't know. But uh, not, not instead of Zanetti, instead of either Varane or Van Dijk, but it is what it is. Uh, Butragueno and, and um, Torres. 
Torres isn't that usable as a base card. He's, he's still quite expensive just because he's new. Butraguino, on the other hand, is around 900k. Uh, Five-star weak foot, only the three-star skills. That would have annoyed me immensely. But off the bench, that would have been such a good card to have. Um, I know a lot of people are like, what do you mean off the bench? Surely you would have played him. I wouldn't play him over Ronaldo or Eto, but, you know, it would have been nice. I'm all right with it, though. Xavi isn't terrible. Um, he'll get used at some point just for, I don't know, five minutes or so. I will review him as well. If it turns out I actually like him, maybe we will put him on the bench instead of Atal. It just depends on how he plays in game. I will bring on David Beckham this week, uh, uh, this weekend a couple of times. Because I love raking the ball 75 yards. I might even bring him on instead of Zanetti. Give the ball to the fullback and just let him launch it all the way up to Messi on the other side of the pitch. Um, Diogo Jota, I'm going to still try to bring him on as well. But if we are in desperate need of wins or goals or whatever, Jao Felix is there. Depay is there. And uh, Dembele still does a job for me. The team is looking very, very nice indeed. That is going to do it for today. I grinded. 15 games of squad battles in about four hours or however long it takes to do back to back to back and we got Xavi out of it would you be happy if you got Xavi in your icon pack let me know in the comments and of course if you've opened an icon pack today or in fact in the last couple of days let me know what you've got you can send me pictures of rewards and icon packs and all the rest of it on twitter link for that is in the description if you have enjoyed today though hit the like button subscribe to the channel for new and until the next time goodbye Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.